the ideal materials are the best materials are still created by nature I think and my vision is that we can be as good as nature or even better. First of all, I was fascinated by theoretical physics, by the way you can describe nature with mathematics. And then in theoretical physics there are of course many fascinating areas, but material science is the most down to the earth, where you describe the world that's really around you, in, in contrast to things like cosmology or particle physics, where this is very far away and kind of speculative what you're doing. Usually in the field, uh, people are very focused on either hard or soft matter, on femtoseconds or nanoseconds, and on uh, metals or macromolecules. And um, even at the professor level, they don't talk too much to each other. Mm -hmm. And now we have students who communicate with students who are doing working different fields of material science very intensely during their graduate studies and I think if you really want to go ahead and create new materials it's very important to strengthen this connection and to educate the people uh, correspondingly. I am specialized in soft matter um, that's uh, materials that are made of large molecules or often fluid and where temperature plays a role. Th theoretically it's interesting because cooperative processes and entropy and things like that play a big role and uh, from a materials point of view you can make particularly versatile materials out of that because you, with large molecules you have so many possibilities so if you want to go really smart then soft matter is one way to go. For example biological physics is to a large extent soft matter. The good thing about the university is that you can take home work and you can do it after the kids are in bed. And the other thing is that I have a great husband. 